Today, all Prue here from Suds and Satin. Uh, I guess I should say Happy New Year. It's February, but this is the first soap I'm making for 2023. Um, I'm making my tranquil soap today because I'm all out. Last month in January, I was at an event and a customer was there looking forward to getting her tranquil soap because this is the one she loves, and I didn't have it. I felt so bad. So I have to make sure I have plenty of it next time I see her at the next event, which will be in April. So this is an all-natural soap. I call it Tranquil because it's made with lavender. It's made with French lavender and a bit of patchouli. And the lye solution is actually a chamomile tea. This is a, a strong steeped chamomile tea lye solution. And I also, for color, use alkanet root powder infused in olive oil. So there's no artificial colors, no artificial fragrances. This is completely all natural soap. And with the light solution, oh, shucks. I almost forgot the coconut milk. Hold on. How can I almost forget the coconut milk? I put coconut milk in just about every last soap that I make. So here we go. I always use an ounce per pound. I always use at least an ounce per pound. Some of my recipes call for more than that. So, let me blend up the coconut milk first. Okay, I believe that's well incorporated. Now, Make sure I get it all out. Now I'm going to blend it just a little bit. Okay, that was about 20 seconds. That should be enough. Now I'm going to split it off for the color. Well, first I'm going to put the essential oils in. Then I will split it off for the colors and blend it a little bit more. I'm not a lavender fan, period, but there, there are many different types of lavender. I happen to like French lavender the most. bit of a stir before I pour some out. <laughs> this soap always takes a long time to trace. 
I guess these essential oils, you know, they don't, they don't accelerate the trace at all. So I really could afford to soap at a higher temperature with this, but I usually soap between, uh, I always soap, I like to soap between 90 and like 110 degrees. But really I could probably do like 125 for this. Again, this is alkanet root powder infused in olive oil. It always looks a weird color. Sometimes it looks blue, sometimes it looks purple. But once the soap is cured, it's like, it's like a soft purple. I believe that's enough. I mean, enough color that is. I think I want some more though. Which might make me need some more <laughs> color. No, that's still enough. I don't think. It's looking green right now. Now to stick blend again. Now that was like a whole minute of stick blending and it's still very fluid. I'm gonna do the same with this. Almost a minute, and I'm done stick blending. Again, it's still very fluid. I don't like to pour it when it's this fluid because it, it seems like when it's not at a me at least a medium trace, it gets that soda ash on the top. Let me wait a few minutes and see if it's going to thicken up. Okay, that was about eight minutes of waiting, and it did thicken up some, and I'm impatient, so even if it didn't, we're just going to go ahead and pour. But it definitely did get a little thicker. Just doing a drop swirl.
Okay. This one can use a little bit more. Let's let's see. Cause I'm gonna put the other color down the middle. This one already full. Well, anyway, Okay, let me roll the top. You know, it should definitely be thicker, just roll the top because it might not hold. If it doesn't, then I'll just go over it again. Yeah, it's definitely not thick enough to hold this design. Well, that's it. I'll bring you back tomorrow for the cutting because I'm going to wait for it to get a little bit thicker. Then I'm going to swirl it again and I'm, I'm not going to put the lavender buds on for like at least eight hours. I don't like to put the lavender buds on while it's wet because it makes them look dark and end up looking like mouse poop. So there you have it. That's my first soap of 2023. Tranquil. Catch me on the cut. Okay guys, I'm back. It's actually been three whole days. As you can see, I did put some lavender buds on the top. But it, it's been three days and I was wondering over the past day or so, why is it still so soft? It should have, you know, it should have been ready to unmold after the first day. And just now, I remembered that I did not put any sodium lactate in my lye solution. Now, that is important. A lot of people think it's, it's no big deal. It is. Especially when you're using a silicone mold, it, the sodium lactate really helps it firm up so you can get it out of these molds. And if you don't want to use sodium lactate, you can also use just regular old salt in your lye solution. But yeah, that lesson learned, I forgot. So I'm going to try my best. It's been three days to not butcher this, taking it out. I'm just gonna cut one with you guys carefully. Oh man. It doesn't really look ready, but it's been three days and I need to cut this joker. Oh man. This is the worst. I put it in the refriger refrigerator for like an hour. I probably should have put it in the freezer instead. It is not really budging. Let's see. Probably put the other one in the freezer after I cut this. If I get to cut this. You know what? Nah, I don't want to take a chance. I'm going to mush it all up. I'll be back. Okay, it's been an hour. I didn't want to put it in there too long because then I won't be able to cut it. I don't want it to freeze. I just wanted to get out of this mold. And I think an hour was enough. Hopefully. Because I'm impatient. Just going to do this one. The other one is still in the freezer. Okay. Yay! Didn't want to butcher it. It's good enough. Okay. Let's 
I'm not gonna cut any end pieces off. I don't want to drag with the lavender. <laughs> I just wiped off a lot of the lavender. What's the point, Prue? See, the alkanet root powder is, the color is very subtle. Like all natural colors are very subtle as opposed to micas that are bright and vibrant. Alright, that's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.